Hey there, today we're down on the mat with a bunch of exercises that will help our muscles release, okay? So the first exercise you're gonna need a strap, a um, strap or a belt. All right, so let's bring our hands behind our thighs, draw the stomach back, slowly rounding down onto your back. All right, you're gonna take your right knee into your chest and we place the strap around the ball of the foot. All right, good. Now we straighten that leg, as straight as it'll go. So if you need to lower the leg down to get it straight, that's good. And then we pull those toes down, keeping that leg straight. So push through the heel, pulling the toes down to straighten the leg. And then you just lift that leg up, reaching that foot up to the ceiling as high as it'll go while keeping that leg straight and keeping that right hip down. All right, we hold this for a minute. Try not to tense up in your upper body and try to have a re pretty relaxed grip with your hands. Keep reaching that hip down to the mat and reaching that heel up to the ceiling, pulling the toes down. All right, halfway there. Great. Now bring the strap to the middle of the foot. So right there at the arch of the foot. Same thing, push the leg straight and then pull that leg, that foot up to the ceiling, keeping the leg straight, anchoring the hip down. And we hold another minute. Remember the leg should be straight and the hip should be down, the foot should be flexed. Now if you're reaching through that heel to push that leg straight. Let's switch sides. All right, so we go around the ball of the foot first, reaching that leg away, pulling the toes down. More than likely, that's a big calf stretch for you. Keep reaching through the heel to straighten the leg, then you can pull that leg up towards the ceiling as high as it'll go while keeping it straight, keeping the hip down. And we hold. All right, and then bring it towards the middle of the foot. Same thing, push the leg straight, hip down. Pull it as far up to the ceiling as you can while keeping it straight. And let's hold.
All right, great job. Okay, so next is the hip stretch. So you're gonna take your right ankle, place it right there over your left knee, and just press the knee away using your hip muscles. Just press the knee away, and we hold this for a minute. So just take inventory of your body. Notice what muscles feel tight. See if in the course of a minute, some of those muscles start to release a little bit. So you're not forcing anything. You're just kind of pressing to your maximum and just allowing those tight muscles to release. Switch sides. Just using those hip muscles, press that knee away. Notice how differently it feels on this side. Most of us have a misalignment in our pelvis, and so it's going to affect the muscles in the hips. So we feel one hip differently than the other. Now, next one, um, soles of the feet come together and just let those knees drop open. Your low back is going to arch up on the, off the mat and that's good. And now we hold for a minute. Again, do you feel one hip differently than the other? Is this stretch different on one side than the other? Um, again, uh, that signifies a misalignment um, that we're here to correct. So again, no forcing here. Just let gravity draw those knees down to the floor. Let's return to that, uh, that first hip stretch position with the ankle over the knee. Press the knee away. Now we're going to twist the hips towards the left. See if you can stand down onto that foot. And then you look to the right. And we hold this. yourself out of that and then we'll go to the other side 
Left ankle on top of the right knee. Twist your hips to the right. Turn your head to the left and we hold. Okay, ease yourself out of that. Okay, this is a good twist to open up the upper back. So you're gonna come onto your left side, stack your knees like you're sitting in a chair. This left hand comes on top of that right knee and we just twist open, trying to get that right hand down onto the floor behind you. If you can't reach the floor, that's okay. Uh, we do this enough times, you'll eventually get down there. Turn towards that right hand and we hold. We'll go to the other side. Okay, so lying on your right side, stack your legs like you're sitting in a chair. Right hand comes on top of the top knee and twist looking towards that left hand. Noticing, is it easier to twist on this side or harder? Never forcing anything, just going to your maximum and letting the muscles relax. out of that prop yourself up with your hands come to your hands and knees for the cat cow so whenever we twist like that we want to come back onto all fours to remind the body that it's a bilateral structure okay so hands underneath your shoulders knees underneath your hips lift your navel up to your spine hook your feet under round your head and round your back up to the ceiling and then reverse that by sending your tailbone up to the ceiling, opening the chest, looking forward slightly. And then reverse, tuck that seat under, lift your navel, round the spine, gently. And then reverse, arching the back, looking forward slightly. And one more time, round the back up. And arching the back. 